Hello! Thank you guys so much for joining me today on FindingMiddleEarth.com uh, or my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you're tuning in. Thank you so much. It is a pleasure to have you. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial today on keyword tagging your photos for better organizational skills in the future, being able to navigate back to a specific uh, photo that you took. Uh, this is a very important part of my personal workflow. I use this all the time. Uh, it's very helpful for me because I, I take a lot of photos. Um, so let's dive in. I'm going to be using uh, Adobe Lightroom today for my example. However, um, keywording is available with a ton of different photo editing softwares out there today. So no worries if you don't have light, uh, Lightroom. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to jump into one of this, uh, these folders here. This is a sunset shoot that I did not too long ago. Um, and you'll notice that every single photo that I scroll through, uh, there's keyword tags here down in the uh, kind of the middle right. Um, and if you notice, every single one has the same keyword in this particular folder. And that's because what I do when I import my photos is I think of a few in general keywords um, that kind of tags all of these photos together. So um, all of these photos, for example, were taken at Lake Alatuna, which is that keyword. Uh, all of them have water in the photo and all of them were taken in the city of Ackworth. And so all of these uh, three keywords here fit uh, amongst all of these photos. But you can see uh, the only one that I really used in my commercial portfolio at the end of the day was this one here. Um, and you'll notice this one has a slightly different keyword. This one has a, a phrase in it called the Grey Havens. And that is because that's what I chose to name uh, that photo. Uh, I name all of my photos, it's just what I do, I'm a nerd, and uh, I'm a big Tolkien fan, so if you know Lord of the Rings, you know what that means, if not, then haha, uh, -ha, make fun of me. So, um, which is very easy to do, by the way, you'll notice that if you watch a lot of my tutorials, I'm a very, uh, very easy guy to make fun of. So, uh, the Grey Havens is the name of this photo, and so... Uh, I, the reason I name each piece of my portfolio is because I like to make a special connection with each photo and therefore it helps me in my um, organizational workflow because um, these are typically the key words that I remember when I'm trying to think back and to find a photo. So let's give you an example. So I'm going to go click on my entire uh, mass 2014 uh, photos here and let's say that I want to find that specific one. So if I hit uh, command F on my keyboard. If you're using a PC, that would be control F. Uh, it brings up this little white search box here. And I can type in any keyword I want that I think would be associated with that photo. So for example, I could type in the word gray, uh, not gray, said there we go, gray. Um, and that brought up the photo right away because that's the only photo in 2015 that has the word gray in it. And so let's say that I can't remember um, you know, I, let's say I can't remember that that specifically what I named the photo. Let's say that I just remember that it was taken in the city of Ackworth. So if I type in Ackworth here, um, you'll see it brings up all of the photos this year taken in Ackworth, and then I can navigate to that photo down here by using that method. Now, obviously that method is more in general, like I said, it won't lead you specifically to the photo. However, it will give you a big head start and you will find it because that was one of the keywords in the photo, um, along with the group of them here. So it's great for, um, and this works for you know any, any kind of photo, um, keyword it and export it with the metadata included so that it, it carries on um, you know, wherever you keep it or archive it on your computer, it carries on with those keywords and um, you're golden. So let me give you another example of how I uh, kind of keep my commercial portfolio. So I actually use iPhoto. We'll let it load. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, man, you know, if, you, if you're a Mac user, you know that iPhoto is like a newbie software that has always come with the Mac since forever. Um, but I just love the simple, beautiful layout of iPhoto. I think it's very appealing for uh, you know customers and clients and even myself uh, you know to navigate through all my work because um, you know whenever it's time for me to go and kind of 
uh, quickly scan through my work. I like a real simple, beautiful layout instead of having to deal with all the trouble of Lightroom and Photoshop and all these you know, crazy numbers and dates everywhere. I just like to stare at it and quickly find it. So I these are all high-res JPEGs that I exported from Lightroom with the metadata and the keywords included. And so same thing here. If I'm an iPhoto and I click uh, Command F and I wanna find a photo, um, the search box is down here and I'm gonna type in, uh, let's see, I know one of my photos is named Cotton Candy Sky, so I'm gonna type in the word cotton, and there I go. There's two of them with these little cotton candy clouds. So there we go, there's my photo, and you can see the name of it here is Cotton Candy Sky, and that brought up the keyword. So there's the photo, easily navigated, and that works for the whole commercial portfolio. So anyway, that's, that's just quickly um, showing you guys how to keyword, and there's the gray haven. So just to prove, again, Command F, and I'll type in the word gray, and well, if, if I knew how to spell, that would be cool. Uh, gray, and there we go. So keywording really helps. It's a very quick, um, very simple, and it's just, it, you know, it, it, you, you can think that, that it's an extra step when you're importing, and it's correct, it is an extra step, but it's a very necessary step, I would say. So if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to comment, uh, subscribe, join my newsletter, uh, all of the above. I would be happy to uh, reply to anyone. I like to get really involved with everyone that uh, watches all my videos and comes to my website, mainly because uh, I just think it's so cool that you guys are interested enough in me and my work to watch me act like a nerd on camera. So uh, any questions at all, I would love to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful week.